Um, Talia, I, I guess just for you to come in and, and do what you did um, after maybe not playing as well as you wanted to in the opener, um, how were you able to turn that around this week and, and kind of not let your confidence slip when, when you're still a, a young player? Well, first and foremost, all the glory goes to the man above. You know, you got to thank him for the victories and, and also, you know, the, the learning, the learning lessons. But um, I, I think us as a, as a team made a decision, you know, to to just put our head downs after that last game and, and just continue to work. I mean, I think the faith and, and the, uh, you know, the our team was, was still together and it was strong. And I think, um, you know, like Coach said, and it was all about the actions. You know, we felt that we had the, the best player or, you know, the, the players to, to go out and, and win games and perform like how we performed today. And, and um, yeah, I think it was just a, a team thing that, that happened. And it really was for all of us to bounce back as a team, you know, not only for me, myself, but as well as the, the O-line and the defense and the special team. So it was just a whole collect, collective, you know, effort. Um, did you watch the Minnesota extra point attempt or were you already talking to coaches about the next overtime offense? No, my head was done. I was praying. I was praying something was going to happen. And like I said, God is good. And, you know, it was good. And, and then when, when everyone ran out, who was the first person you saw um, and celebrated with? Do you remember any of that or is it a blur? Say the first person I celebrated with? Yeah, like when, when you realized you won, what, what do you remember seeing and, and doing? I think I, oh, sorry. I think I, uh, I think it was Heeb. Yeah, it was Heeb. I just ran on the field and I seen Heeb and I had to double check if he missed it or not. It was real. So, you know, when it was, I just ran with Heeb <laughs> and the whole team. Thanks, Lou. It is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Thank you. We'll go to Ed Lee. Do you feel like a performance like tonight sort of vindicates you? Um. Well... Not so much myself, but I think us as a team, you know, I think we showed a lot of grit, a lot of fight um, and a lot of perseverance, you know, to, to, to come off of a, a loss like that. I think it was 45 three or something like that. And, and for our team to just continue to fight, we knew Minnesota was, was a very good team, is a very good team. And we knew that it was going to be a fist fight and we thought it was going to be four quarters, but you know, we had an extra quarter in there. And, you know, I think it just shows the type of team we have and, you know, hopefully we can build on this. How about for you personally? I mean, do you feel like you may have silenced some of the doubters out there? Silenced some of the doubters? Some of the doubters, yeah. Oh, man, I, <laughs> I'm not too worried about that. I, I'm just happy that, you know, our, our team made a decision, you know, to, to bounce back. And um, it's just a team effort for, for myself. The big thing is that, you know, I just do my job and, and we win the game. So, so. Last question, how much uh, confidence do you guys have in a kicker like Joseph Petrino to kick that 51-yarder? Oh, Petrino, man, he's – that's what he does. You know, Coach said we had the best kicker in the in the nation, and we all trust in him. And, you know, the hold is good, the snap was good, and the protection was good. And we give Petrino time. You know, he's, he's going to do what he does. So, it was a big-time kick. It was a very big-time kick. Thank you. Lila. Hey, Leah, um, you know, you rush for almost 60 yards and have the two rushing touchdowns. I know, you know, especially in, in high school, you're kind of known as more of a, a passer. Like, you know, what kind of work have you just put in to kind of establish that part of your game? Um, well, we, we work a lot of uh, a lot of movement drills with uh, Coach Mo and Coach Johnson and also with Nick Cochran. And, um, you know, those are drills we, you know, Coach always told us, you know, if when, Passes break down, put, use two hands on the ball and, you know, you can spin out or, or step up. And I think, um, you know, that's just something we practice every day when we go individual drills, you know, with Coach Johnson and Coach Mulvin. So big ups to them. And I'm happy that, you know, I, I could learn. You know, I, I took what we used in practice and, and used it at the game. So. 
And can you walk me through the touchdown and overtime, just what you're seeing and kind of your reaction afterwards? Um, uh, touchdown. Which one? Or just kind of your reaction to that touchdown in, in overtime. Oh, the last one? Yeah. Yeah. Um, shoot. We uh, we thought they were going to be in man. You know, we had a, a little slip out with, with Demas. And um, <clears throat> the two receivers were cracking down and the corner fell off. So uh, after that, Demas ran him out and it was open for me to run. So. And just how, how good did that feel just to be able to, you know, get that, that score in overtime? Man, it was it was just good to, to you know to get in the end zone for my team and you know it was a collective it was a collective team effort. So it was just a good feeling knowing that we were up in overtime and our defense was hot. So you know it was a good feeling depending on them to to close out the game for us. Thank you. Thank you. Andy. Hey Leah, what impressed you most with Jake Funk tonight? His running or his pass blocking? I'm not impressed at all. I mean that's Jake, that's what he does. I mean, he's a machine, um, as well as our old lineman. You know, Jake Jake is a very smart, smart person. And, you know, I even ask him sometimes, like, you know, did, did you see this? Did you see this? And he comes to me and, you know, seeing about we talk about protection and, and stuff like that. So Jake is is amazing running back. He's a veteran leader and, you know, he helps me a lot. And, you know, it's, it's good to have someone like him in the backfield. Thank you. Played a great game today. He ran. We'll go to Alif. Hey, Talia. Um, with this win, specifically, I wanted to talk about your wide receivers. You know, what did you feel about each of their performances, specifically Dante as well, because he had a couple of really big moments for you that kind of helped you guys towards the final stretch? Yeah, man, our, our, our receiver cores, they, they work really hard. Very close, uh, tight bunch. And um, they did their thing, you know, like like Coach Locke said, you know, I, we have all we have the players, we have the tools. And, um, you know, for me, I just got to get them the ball and they'll do the rest. You know, you, you see what Demons can do, what six and 15 can do. And, you know, there's, there's so much more youngins that, you know, you guys haven't seen. And, and you know, Dede McDougal, Dino and and all those guys and, and Rack, you know, so it's it's fun to see them compete every day. And, and they're just getting each other better. So it's, it's, I'm very fortunate to have a receiver group like that. For our last one, we'll go to Jacob Steinberg. Hey, Julia. So Coach Lockley has talked about that all offseason, just complimentary football, offense helping out the defense and defense helping out the offense. Just how much did tonight's win epitomize complimentary football? Oh yeah, man, it's, it's, it's a team sport. I mean, we started off strong. And, you know, the defense did their thing. And like I said, you know, it shows a lot about our team that, you know, we, we played all five quarters today. And, you know, we, we complimented each other when the, when the offense was, was down, you know, the defense stepped up. And when the defense was, you know, was down, offense stepped up. And I think that shows the, the brotherhood that we have, you know, that we can depend on each other and just the fight in our team. So hopefully we can build on from this and, yeah, build on from this. Thanks, Leo. Thank you, guys. Have a good night.